Let's go back now to the coast and a story we have been tracking all day long. That devastating fire that destroyed a small ice making facility. Now, thankfully, nobody was hurt. The ice house was located across from the U.S. Coast Guard station on Kingfisher Road in Charleston. And that is where we find KEZI 9 News reporter Avita Garza. She joins us live to explain how fishermen are reacting to what could have been a massive inconvenience. Avita. Matt, China, devastation is actually the first word people have said to me when I asked them about the tragedy that occurred here today. They say the ice house has been around for decades, so it was very hard to watch it go down. According to their website, the ice house provides ice for fishermen 24 hours a day. It keeps their catch cold while they make their way back to the port. Now, fishermen say they'll have to get their ice elsewhere, which could create a lot of hardship for this community. Well, it's kind of sad. There isn't another ice house you know, between here and Newport or here in Brookings. And so there's going to be a lot of fishermen and families affected by this. The next closest ice house from Charleston are both two hours away. However, officials tell me the port will start looking into new ways to bring ice to the area as soon as they can. Right now, there is no word whether or not the port will be rebuilding the ice house or not. For right now, reporting live in Charleston, Avita Garza, KEZI 9 News. Thank you.